it is Dead Gaming Live here with another GTA 5 online video. What's going on today? I'm sorry I've been kind of on like a hiatus today, but I've just been really, really busy. But I do have three dope ass clothing glitches right here for you guys that I've put together. Um, and But before we get into it, I just want to say go down to the description, check out that link. Okay, that's to my second channel. Go over there and subscribe over there. I haven't uploaded over there yet, but we're going to be doing Call of Duty and GTA 5 over there. It's going to be a community channel. I know I keep saying tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I've just been super, super duper busy. We will be uploading there soon. And make sure you turn notifications on here and over there. All right, so that being said, let's get into it. The first one here is how to transfer logos onto the new leather hoodies. All right, this shit here is super duper dope. And uh, I'm not sure who the founder is of this, so if you're watching this and you are the founder, just comment down in the comment section. I'll link you in the description. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to your apartment or a clothing store and choose one of the V-neck t-shirts. All right, and once you chose a V-neck t-shirt that has the logo on it you like, you just go and put on one of them three leather hoodies, okay, in the hoodie section, and then go and save it. Now guys, I've had a couple of people say that you could do it with any t-shirt with a logo in your apartment. I could only get V-necks to work, so I'm just gonna say V-necks. All right, then once you've saved it, you just open up your interaction menu and put the outfit on and bam, there it is. It does save, it does stick. It's simple, V-neck with a logo, put the hoodie on, save it, open up interaction menu and put it on. All right, so for the second glitch, this is how to put a second logo on it, and the founder of this glitch is Derailed Train. First thing you want to do is go to Outfits Biker and go down to the very last outfit, the zombie, okay? And you guys have done this before. Um, this was a glitch that was out, you know, not that long ago where you can put the logos on this, but we're going to use this glitch to do the next glitch. Now, once you have that on, you go and find another V-neck t-shirt that has the logo on it that you want to stack on top of the other logo, and this does save also. Now, once you do that, you don't have to save it or nothing. You just back out of the clothing thing there, open up your interaction menu, and put on the other outfit with the logo on it, okay? And you'll have two logos stacked on top of the leather hoodie. Dope. It, uh, there is unlimited possibilities with this glitch right here, man. So definitely take advantage of this before they patch it because, you know, it's unlimited possibilities. Think about all the logos that you could swip, swap, 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 sloop, slop, whatever, however you guys want to do it. All right, so that's two dope-ass clothing glitches. Now let's get into the third one. The third one here is founded by none other than Freight Train. And this, it's pretty dope, guys. It sucks that you can't save it. But let's bring them invisible body parts back. And I also want to tell you guys that the invisible body parts, it, the glitch is working for some people, but just not for others. I don't know why. I'm not having a problem doing it. I know a whole bunch of people that are not having a problem doing it, um, like the invisible arms and stuff like that. But a lot of you guys are getting the invisible body parts to show back up. I don't know why. Okay, it's working for some, not others. All right, so for this one here, we're gonna get them invisible bodies back, okay? Body parts, bodies, whatever. All you wanna do is have a yacht, register as an MC, put on an MC outfit, walk into the hot tub, either go right or left and put the outfit back on, okay? Then disband the MC, stick sticky bombs over here. It's just like the old Save CEO outfit glitch, pretty much. And uh, stick sticky bombs there. Don't walk too far out so that way you lose the outfit. And you want to go down to secure yourself, register, and blow yourself up immediately. And it puts you in like this glitch state where you can put on any of your previous outfits that you have saved with invisible body parts or the full invisible body. And it will stick while you're either in the CEO or in the session. If you leave the CEO, it doesn't work no more. If you leave the session, it doesn't work no, no more. But it is a dope glitch, especially, you know, if you like to troll or if you're fighting against people that like to troll and they're always going off the radar with the invisible outfits, you know, you can really get it down and really have the invisible outfit to fight against them, all right? And there will be a link in the description to Freight Chain's channel. A lot of you guys already know about him, but go check him out. He's pretty dope. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This might be it for the night. I'm not sure. And just so everybody knows, PMHD Prestige has my absolute permission to upload videos. We have a contract that we've signed. He can upload anything off of my channel and he is, he's legit. Anything that he uploads on his channel from other YouTubers, he has absolute permission, guys. So, you know, if you see my videos over there, 
He's the only one that has my permission to upload my videos. All right, just so you guys know, I appreciate you guys looking out. I know he uploaded a video here recently of mine over there, and a lot of you guys were like, "Oh, you stole this from Dead Game and Live." Um, so I appreciate you guys looking out. That's what's up, cause I need you guys to do that kind of shit for me, cause a lot of people stealing my videos, but PMHD does have permission. All right, guys. So you guys know I love all you guys. Until the next video, it might be tonight, it might be tomorrow, but it definitely ain't gonna be more than 24 hours from now. Dead Game and Live. Peace.